Hi everyone. So in our last tutorial, we learned about some basic stuff of SQL Server, like what is the basic interface of the SQL Server Management Studio, how to create a table and database, and how to insert a value into the database that we created, and then select statement how you can view the table. If you want to check that tutorial, just click to that bar given at the top of the video. So now in this video, we will see how to create a table using command line and using GUI interface. So in both the ways we can create uh, tables. So let's start with the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, the SQL Server Management Studio connecting to the server, database server. We'll say connect. We will open a new query window. So the very best part about SQL Server is it provides very rich graphical user interface. So maximum of the thing that you can perform using command line, the same you can do using right click. Okay, so at very first we will see how to create a table using the command line that we have already seen in our previous video, but here we will see in much today. So start with create table statement, create table and table name. Let's say this time I want to put my table name as a student. Okay. And we'll list down number of columns here, whatever columns I want to put here. So very first column is roll number and the ID and sorry the in the data type is integer. Then student name. This is varicare. Let's say 25 so here data type explains that what type of data you want to store in that certain column let's say i say integer it means only integer value will be stored in this roll number we cannot put any character values into this names data type where care indicates that we can put a character value though we can put integer integer value also into this column but that integer would be treated as a character okay then the next next column is class and which class that students study so i'll say where care again then age it must be integer value then admission date i could put a date data type here okay and my table is created okay not created i will create this one right now selecting this statement and either you can press f5 button or click to this button execute button okay now table is created we can see this table select test is from student execute and you can see the table is created here this for example let me put a single row into this table insert into table name which is student then column name roll number name class age admission date values let's say roll number one name Raj class six age nine and admission date let's say zero one zero one two 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 zero two zero okay Again, that is my date, so I need to put into a single quote. And I'll execute the statement and table is created. Now you must have noticed few things here that the numerical values that I have provided has no uh, single quote, uh, but all character and date uh, and the date data types must be enclosed in a single quote. Okay, so this is the way SQL Server works or even wherever you are referring the character or date values in your select statement in your where clause and anywhere 
then you need to enclose it with the single quote now insert statement executed one row is created let's see or otherwise instead of writing again that same statement we can select this one execute okay so the row is created so this is one way of creating table we have an another way of creating the same table okay what is that one let's see open database go to my any user defined database let's say in my case this is my first database and tables you can see tables here okay i will create a new table by right clicking to this table folder then new and go to table option a new tab will pop up here here you can put the column names and data types okay and the third value is allow null it just says whether you allow a null value into that certain column yes or no okay so id data type integer you can see there are predefined values into this drop down list you cannot provide your own values whatever the values are given here you need to select those only so it means if you want to put nothing into certain cell of that particular column then it is known as null we will discuss null in much detail in upcoming videos right then another column is name data type is varchar okay i can provide any value here let's say 20 only and then department again varchar 50 or anything let's say 10 let's say i want to create this new table with just three columns now we will save this at the time of saving a new pop-up window will come which will ask you the table name so let's say mm, a student 2 save and the table is created now you can close this window and let's say if I go into that database a new query either from here or select into the da that database you can create a new query okay in both ways it works same let's say I open a new query from here and now I will query that table that I just created so the student 2 and execute so you'll see the table that we created in GUI mode is available here so this is all for this session please click the like button and subscribe our channel